So, so, so what is a qubit? So you think of a coin, which you, you would toss in the air and it can be either heads or tails. Um, so that's a, a kind of a, an intuitive picture of the world. This thing is either heads or it is tails. Now, a quantum coin um, could indeed have the property that it would be heads or tails. But the difference between quantum mechanics and classical theory is that an object like a coin, a quantum coin, can also be in what we call a superposition of heads and tails. So that means that it can be in a state where it is, let's say, if we observe the thing, we'll talk about that a bit later, but it can be in a state where it could be 30% heads and 70% tails, or 40% heads and 60% tails, or any combination, any mixture of heads and tails. And that is a perfectly legitimate description of the state of the configuration of this thing. 